Howdy there, partner. This is Nizcraft, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Rise. Today, we're going to be taking on a brand new quest here in the village. If you remember last time, we upgraded, quote unquote, upgraded our gear a little bit to get the Rocky Helm, which gives us a Vade Extender, which I'm looking forward to trying out with the Gunlance. And so today we're going to hunt a Kuluyaku in the Sandy Plains. It will be our first time hunting a Kuluyaku, as well as our first time going to the Sandy Plains. Um, so our client today is the Sandy Plains Courier. Blasted Kuluyaku, always stealing my wyvern eggs. I've tried and tried to make my way through the Sandy Plains, but they get the jump on me every single time. Let's go hunt a Kuluyaku. And actually, before we go, we've not done this before. Let's see if we can upgrade a Rogi set. We can upgrade it to level two. And that should give us I need five points. An extra two defense. Take care of your gear. Okay. So the Sandy Plains is a pretty fun a map. Of land. Nothing but um, dust it's kind of similar to the Flooded Forest. I don't feel like I know it very well. And um, I, I feel like and my first playthrough on the Switch, I spent a lot of time on the dog, and because I spent so much time on the dog, I just like didn't learn the maps that well, except for maybe the Shrine Ruins. I know the Shrine Ruins pretty well. Um, I guess that's similar to how it's been in older games, especially like Monster Hunter 1 and Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Like, I know the forest and hills really well. And I know the snowy mountains. I think that's what they're called, the snowy mountains. Of the I know those maps really well. But once you get beyond those, like I don't know where you can get bugs or or where you can get ore. I like I just have it memorized in that first map really well. Let's go. I feel like in Monster Hunter Rise, I kind of know the Shrine Ruins, and I kind of know the Volcano, so you end up spending so much time in the Volcano. Okay, we're going to start off by going this way. So we've got a spider web, we've got a Jewel Lily, and so we can use this to shoot us over this way. This can shoot us over this way. Look at that. We've got a bitter bug. And it looks like we've got a monster. We've got a bear off. Um, I guess we can. We might as well. We might as well fight the bear off. This is village after all, and we've been seeing. Unfortunately that things just don't take that long to die here in the village. So maybe this Baroth will be different. Bring it on! This is for my- Making progress! Ooh, a poison toad. Yep, get poisoned. I'm gonna get you. You're a lifesaver. Oh, like a lord of. Move right out of the air. This is gonna be easy. Oh, nice. 
this. So one thing that I did find out, and I think this is true, I don't, I don't know if this is true, Come on, sure. concentrate. but I think the wide Shell and Gunites, like what we have here, will actually do some KO damage. Oops, wrong button. Just missed all entirely. I'm gonna get you. Oh, that evade is nice. All right, we're gonna have to heal. Actually, we should be able to catch these bubbles and this mega wasp. And then we need to reload. There's more where that came from. We have ground splitting. Well, that didn't work out. Well, it kind of worked out. I feel like we got some damage off. And it is running away. So I do feel like we're doing some okay damage. I'm gonna get you! Just like green sharpness, which is good. And it looks like it might end up getting in a fight with the Kuliaku. We got fire herbs. Well, I guess we needed those. Well, maybe not though. It's kind of running away. It's okay. We shall make chase. Doing great. Ooh, S cure go. Bomb berries. What are you doing? I'll definitely do some mining. Pick this thing up. And let's go up here. Making progress. mud. This is for my Oops. We're gonna do this.
All right. So we had a successful, Bye -bye. successful wyvern right there, and now we're riding the Yaku. This is gonna be good. Oops. That was kind of nice. Little jumps here and there. Alright, we'll do a mounted punisher and then we can continue to go ham on this. There I See ya! Just getting weaker, We're getting some Kuyaku stuff, some Baroth stuff. That's good. We're gonna go finish off this Baroth. Then take down our main target, the Kuyaku. This is giving us ah, sweet. pretty nice exploration of this map as well. Mine now. Alright, we're getting all the way back here to these like sandy zones. Got some of these delics. The buttons. Here comes the pain. There's more where that came from. Oh, I pushed the buttons again. Gotta get out of the way before we die. S care go. Save me. You're my best pal. We broke something. Oh, we broke his arms. There we go. That takes care of that. All right, ask your go. Finish me off. I'll put this to good use. Delix. We got a big fin. Don't mind and if then I do. The bear off. So I'm getting the feeling that. Gunlance mains, if any of you ever watch this, you're gonna be like, no, Nuzcraft. You're doing it all wrong. And that's okay. I will eventually figure out what I need to do in order to like on, keep my shells up and keep my worm stakes going and how to use wide shelling versus how to use anything else. I'm just not quite there yet. Look, here is a subcamp location. We can just wire bug out here. And this gives us a good, Good landing zone to get out here to find these other monsters. There we go. Sweet. Making progress. Grab a little bit of honey. Now we're gonna fight our actual foe. Hello. This is gonna hurt. The so one thing that I did bring, kind of just for this, is the Kuliaku will pick up these rocks. Oh, oh, no. 
Alright, I, I don't have my big slam, like my big it. boom available. What's well, asleep? Um, so I guess I just took it. sharpen up before we chase um, and we've, we've kind of seen this before where the smaller monsters are a little bit tougher to hit those warm steak blasts with Hulu making their way down into the, the depths of the sandy plains. Must be trying to get a meal. It's hungry. This is gonna be easy. Come on, so there's one thing that I typically do. That I think is probably wrong is I find it very hard to do like a neutral book. It's probably just something for me to get used to. So let's go ahead and do this. Then we'll come into ground splitter. Right, so I think with ground splitter. I think our shells have increased damage. I wasn't counting the damage at all, so I don't know for sure, but they were like glowing. And I could probably learn that if I just read up on what Crown's Footer does. Yeah. That was Kulu, and that was Baroth. We will be fighting Baroth again in a key quest, potentially. Uh, I guess there might be other key quests that we want to do instead. Um, since we've already fought a Baroth before. But I'm actually really enjoying this kind of theme of, you know, go on a, on a mission, go on a quest, hunt a monster, and hunt a secondary monster as well. It's kind of fun. Eventually we'll want to hunt up some of these Rachnoids. All in a day's work!
We got, we got ourselves our cowboy hat on, our Roggy hat. Oh yeah, so we got some Kuliaku stuff. We did get a reward for breaking Kulu's head. We can break its arms as well. And then I think they'll give a reward too. Um, and then we got some, some extra barrel stuff. We got a claw for breaking its foreleg. With the shell damage from a gun lance, you should be able to break its head, I think. I don't know if you need impact damage to break a Baroth head, or if you can use shell damage. Um, and then our, uh, our Palicos plundered a bunch of stuff, which is awesome. Hey, Walnarts! Got up to level 10, earned Knockout King Buddy Skill Art for Donger Earplugs, and Nedmen's got Camouflage Art for Artful Dodger and Negate Stun and Webproof. It's good. We should go through and set up our buddies at some point. Nuzgraft, an urgent report just came in. Looks like the Rampage is getting close to the Shrine Ruins. Anyone halfway decent with a weapon it will help me guard the area surrounding the stronghold. But we can't hold them all off. I'm going to need you to hunt down anything that breaks through. We don't just do this to save our butts, but for the future of Kimura. You got that? Yeah. Take on urgent quests from Hinoa. Drive back the Calamity and protect that future. Yeah. Alright, Nuzcraft. Let's show that pack of fiends what Kimura is really made of. Wahahaha. Well, I guess we uh, we finished all the key quests that we needed to do. I didn't know that. I wasn't paying attention. I've been enlisted as a defender. I can't wait. Don't get all jealous if I do a better job than you, okay? Are you up for it? So the urgent quest is our first rampage. Okay. That's interesting. We're not going to do that yet. We... Oops. Uh-huh. I didn't want to chat with you, I'm sorry. Um, so here in Village 3 Star, we still have some monsters that I won't. Oh, oh, so it's like a mid-urgent. I was gonna say, I didn't think that was all of the key quests, but we got an urgent quest anyways. So we could do the rampage, and it wouldn't kick us out of 3 Star just yet. Okay. So if that's the case, we're probably gonna do one more three star one. quest take a or even to fight a new monster before we do that rampage and then we might come back and uh and finish up fighting some of these new monsters because we haven't fought to train it on yet we technically have fought baroth so we might skip this key quest and we haven't fought uh the royal ludroth yet um, and technically, we haven't fought Kezu, and so we're gonna we're gonna want to fight Kezu because Kezu is a fun fight. Yeah, so those are those are definitely quests that we're gonna want to do. Kezu, Royal Ludra, and Tetranodon. But those are all for next time. To finish off this time. Oh, we want to take a look at the Baroth oh, and the uh, Kuliaku armor. Um, and weapons, I guess. What do you need? Okay, so we'll start with the Kuliaku stuff. I guess we'll start with the Jaggy stuff. Jaggy gives attack boost and master mounter. Attack boost on the arms and master mounter on the shin guards. That's not super interesting. Kuliaku gives a bevy of skills all at one point. Maximum Might, Warm Maestro, Slugger, Stamina Thief, Stun Resistance, Critical Eye. All the time you need. Um, it seems like this set is for mixing and matching. Um, outside of the look, the look looks really good all put together. I really like the Kulu set. But if you want Max Might, you can grab this thing, Corn Maestro, Slugger, Stamina Thief, Stun Resistance, and Critical Eye on the legs. So that's kind of cool. Um, looking at Baroth, we've got Attack Boost Level 2, Defense Boost Level 1, Affinity Sliding, and Guard. These 
uh, pieces are pieces that might be good for us. The defense is not as good as Guild Cross, but the skills are a lot more interesting. Um, especially if we want uh, maybe some guard for uh, guard for gun lance. And, and if we start doing that, then we'll probably start splitting our armor sets so that we have like a switch X specific set and a gun lance specific set. Um, but we need to hunt more Baroth if we want some guard. And I don't, I don't know that one point of guard is going to be worth it. But attack boost is like not a bad skill. Affinity sliding is, I think, really only good for hammers, maybe. It's probably fine for other things. Okay, um, let's look at gun lances, see if we've got anything interesting. Um, technically, the Camera Gun Lance 3 takes some Bacolite Ore, so we can add that to our wish list. Um, we now have access to the Delix Tree, which includes the Delix Harpoon 1. It's an aqua sack and acolyte, and it's got water. I'm used to cool. Cool, cool. Don't know much more about the ore tree here. Actosum tree, we already knew about. Baggy tree, we already knew about it. Oh, we need some baggy scales for that. We have a quest to hunt some baggy. Combus tuna, eroded skeleton, flame fin. I'm gonna have to figure out where to get these stinking fish. Oh, here, the Baroth tree. Um, high attack, 130. Yellow sharpness, minus 20% affinity with a defense bonus. Huh, shelling level 2. That's probably worth messing around with. Ah, and then we have these Banabra, the Banabra trees. So we start with the Banabra uh, Fiore Nulo, regular Banabra, which doesn't have any element associated with it. Then we have an ice element, Fiore Nulo White, which is a little bit white. Green, which is a little bit green, has paralysis on it. We have a couple blast gun lances down here. If we look at switch axes, we have a Delix switch axe, which looks really cool. I'm, I'm liking the look of that. Um, we already have the Archer switch axe, that's what we've been using. Acnosom, which we need some Macolite before we can forge it. Bear off. Well, that's kind of cool. No There's plenty of time. It's got a like a green line in the middle. This sold axe one. And once again, this one has a lot of raw and minus 20% affinity. It's got a paralysis file, which I don't think charges up quite as fast as an elemental file does. Snowfall axe. Bone. Diadalos axe. Interesting. Well, I think that's going to be everything for today. You Thank you so very much for watching. We will see you next time. When we, uh, what did we say we were going to do? We were going to hunt another monster before trying to do the rampage thing. So, next time when we hunt another monster. See you then.